Hi everyone, so the theme for the week is to get informed on a topic. So just before I get onto that, two Nerd Friday updates, just of stuff happening in my life, which is one, I'm watching a movie in lit class. That's not the amazing part. The amazing part is that one of the main characters in that movie is played by none other than Helen Hunt. And the other one is, my fr one of my friends was in the library today and she found this. Yes, my school library has a copy of Zombies vs Unicorns and I'm now reading it and I love it. Okay, but on to the topic. So the topic that I chose to get informed about this week is philosophy because this is the first year I've done it at school and I'm finding it really fascinating and I like the aspect for discussion and the fact that it's a constantly changing field of questions because it's really hard to find answers. Like there's this one guy, Descartes, you may have heard of him, um, so he basically was like, okay, I'm going to ignore everything that has been discovered so far and I'm just going to question what exists. Like how do I prove the basis of any of these things? He's like, it's very nice that you've worked out that 1 plus 1 equals 2, but does one exist? Which was a problem because he discovered he couldn't prove one existed. Which then kind of was like, well, it's very nice, 1 plus 1 equals 2, but it doesn't exist. Well, hopefully it does, <laughs> otherwise maths is going to get really funky in the future. But basically, he went through and he's thought about all this stuff, and then he's finally, after many years of thinking, figured out that he can prove that one thing exists. Which is, I think, therefore I exist. Because... I can hear myself thinking, I am thinking as a human being, therefore even if nothing else in the world exists, even if when I pick up a book or I pick up a book and I can feel the book and I can see the book but all my senses could be lying, we could really be in the matrix and that's just computer programming, but I think, therefore I exist. And the really cool thing about this is as sound as that like, statement sounds, a few years later, a guy called Emmanuel Kant came along and was like, Hey, actually, no, you haven't proved you exist. You proved that you think, therefore something exists. Because really, you could be a puppet and someone else could be doing the thinking and you just think you're thinking. Which is kind of like... My brain hurts. But... It's very cool, because this is constant discussion. So even if you're talking about someone, a philosophy great like Socrates or Plato, you can still add your own dimension, your own take to this discussion. Which is why I come into the Gorgias, which is a text that I'm studying in philosophy. And the Gorgias is written by Plato. Kind of a cool dude. Kind of famous. And Plato was the ancient Greece version of Camera Shy. He wrote many, many, many books, all with characters in them who were actually real people of the time, but never did he ever feature in one of his books. Now, Plato had a teacher, Socrates. Socrates... philosophers weren't very popular at the time. They were the ancient Greece version of politicians. What politicians we think of them today? Annoying, never tell the truth, looking for popular opinion. That was of your philosophers at that time. Now, Socrates, he thought that he was above the looking for popular opinion. He thought he was above all that. So he was just annoying. He did the opposite of looking for public opinion, which was he just pissed everyone off. So some people got angry at him and brought him in front of a jury for some minor charges. That would have been fine, except he decided to insult the entire jury that were deciding how to punish him. Doesn't go down so well. So Socrates got sentenced to death, which Plato was pretty pissed off about. So Plato decided that since he's BFF forever, and that doesn't make any sense, BFF, yes, since his BFF had been sentenced to death, he's, you know, main guy, he decided to make Socrates the main character of all of his books, well, a lot of his books, and have him pawning a whole lot of other people at philosophy. So that was the Gorgias. It's him versus another guy called Callicles, and basically the entire discussion is about the good life, what it is to lead a good life, all this, and it's basically Socrates just whooping another guy's ass and arguing, which would be really nice if he was doing it well. But this is the thing is, the nice thing about studying philosophy is I can look back on this text and I can sit here and go, I disagree with that line that Socrates says now. And I think that I'm going to have to stop here, because even though I'd like to talk a whole lot more about what's actually in the Gorgias, I also feel like I may be using up a lot of time and you probably don't want to listen for too much longer if you're still listening. Thank you for still listening. So if you want to hear more about the Gorgias, maybe read it. 
But otherwise, philosophy's cool. I'm gonna link to a guy down below who does philosophers in three minutes. So he talks about a philosopher in three minutes, which is a whole lot better than whatever time I'm doing. I don't know how long I've talked for, but probably more than three minutes. So you can go check him out, because he's awesome. Um, and yeah, philosophy is cool. This is an introduction to a few philosophy ideas. Plato's man love for his teacher, who got sentenced to death for being annoying. Um, yeah. DFTBA. And see you all later. Brendan, I hope to see your video at some point. And James, I can't wait to see what you get informed about on Tuesday. Bye.